Britain, which benefited the most from the slave trade, was also the initiator of the abolition of slave trade. Because slaves were regarded as commodities, the slave owners strongly resisted the abolition of the slave trade. In order to secure their cooperation for the abolition, they demanded compensation which was granted by the British government. In 1833, after the abolition of slavery, the British government paid £20 million as compensation to slave owners. This amount represented approximately 40% of the British Treasury annual spending budget at that time. Adjusted for inflation, the equivalent of £20 million in 1833 is approximately £457 million today. The compensation was provided to slave owners in the form of government bonds that could be redeemed over a 30 year period. The compensation payments sparked controversy at the time. Some argued that the British government should not have rewarded slave owners with compensation. They believed that slavery was a ruinous crime against humanity and the slave owners should not have been given any form of reward. On the other hand, there were those who argued that the compensation payments were necessary to ensure a smooth transition from slavery to freedom. They believed that compensating the slave owners was crucial in order to prevent them from causing unrest and destabilizing the country. In all of this, what did the slaves receive? They did not receive any compensation nor was anyone prosecuted for the crimes committed against them. Perhaps some would say slaves received freedom.